Welcome back and good morning to from the Hollywood Hour and Hollywood Happenings. Uh, hello this morning from the Hollywood Hour and Hollywood Happenings. We're here on Wilshire Boulevard by one of the iconic theaters. Music Hall, RRR, Decision to Lee, Pearl, After Sun, Tar, Laramar Cinema. Uh, this okay, morning we're okay, over at the Laramar Music Theater. Uh, it was established in 1938, showcasing the latest uh, independent sure. porn and art films. Right up here near next to Russell's Jewelers. Close now, the theater opened on October 20th of 1926 as the Carter D. Haven Music Box with the review Fancies. The original concert was two awful reviews in the thick field style in the auditorium with dancing and illicit drinking in the open air cabaret space above the lobby. Views of the rooftop space and the bottom of the pay of the rooftop space. Now, in November. 1926 Dick Whittington Studio a photo is from the UCLA Digital Library Collection. Now the seating is advertised as originally a thousand and in 1999 it was listed as 863 with 572 on the main floor and 291 in the balcony. Now the seats have been removed on the main floor and the floor level total space of the building is about 31,000 square feet. Stage specifications of the promising is 36.6 inches wide and approximately 30 inches high. Same depth is 27 by 9. And from the smoke pocket in the back wall, the grid is 60 inches high. It's a hemp house. Scroll down. Now, the project has been announced in September 13, 1925, issue of the Los Angeles Times. Thanks. Can Max not providing? An article, initial investors of the theater, including John Barrymore, John Gilbert, Reginald, Billy King, Vidar, and May Murray. This opening night ad appeared in October 20th, 1996 times. It had planned to open on the 18th, but the two-day delay was orchestrated. Orchestra leader got sick, an article on the 20th, knowing that they haven't announced that the two-day postponement caused by the owners of Arthur K. had enabled to, to round up his show so that the first night audience can be assured of a smooth performance. Thanks to my cue for locating the 1926 article. Now, Carter Haven's review didn't last long. Fancy soon closed and was replaced by Thanksgiving Day with the Hollywood Newsbook Review starring Lupino Lane that closed January 30th, 1927, and the first edition produced by the theater's new operator, Louis. McClone opened on February 2nd, starring Fanny Bryce, the Times critic Edwin Swallett referred to it as the 1927 spring edition of the Hollywood Music Month Review in its February 3rd review. Now programming then became a mix of musical reviews and legit drama with performances including Clark Gable Beverly and Bella Hills, Ghostly. Legacy, Business Award, Music uh, Cable's, the Beverly Cable's appearance in 1927 uh, with Nancy Carroll and the, the West Coast Business premiere Community, of the play Chicago. Uh, now they had an appearance in Chicago on uh, April 29, 1927, was issued by the LA Times, the Ontario Theater, and the McClellan was also running at the time through many names, ending up with the Grand Theater. Malone was also the initial tenant of the Playhouse on Figueroa Street, a venue later known as the Variety Arts Theater. It became a film house for the Fox West Coast assumed operation allows in 1925 and after a remodel and opened on February 1st of 1925. 
the movies as the Guild Theater, a February 2nd LA Times article located. Okay, now Guild joins first run group with Double Bill, a Brighton, and refurbished Hollywood Music Box deserted the legitimate and radio films yesterday when it joined the first run United Arts Artists at Box World Short Theaters as a re-Christian Guild. The program somewhat less of an event comprised of two RKO Radio Bride from the Stake and the Falcon of Hollywood. CBS released it again for several years beginning in 1948 with the radio productions including The Tide Show and Dinosaur and others. Now it was renamed The Fox and became a film house again on May 26 of 1954 opening that night with Night People plus a sneak preview that's Mike Rivers for the locating the now, The Summer Miracle at the Fox was in December 1958 in the makeover of Bun Jammer, the first and only film in The Summer Miracle. It had previously been at the Chinese for a 40 week reserve seat run. It was a three projector and separate round sound double process, much like Samarava, except for the gear was all in the center booths. As the Chinese had found the new booths and the Presonian remodel for the 90 inch screen, the best guest for the music box box. Run, they made a comprehensive print of the three negatives, and it was run in standard 35 millimeter telescope form. Met the reserved seats engagement opened Christmas Day and ran 15 weeks. At the picture, the theater began on the September 30th, 1959. Fox West Coast got the Pacific Theater started running it. The Fox name resurfaced on the Hollywood Boulevard in 1968 with it theater and street was a remodel and a rebranded as The Fox. Now part of the building showcases uh, these nice cars and motorcycles and various things. It is an automobile showroom of classic and absorbent sports cars. <laughs> 